It feels weird being by myself for an arcade episode after all this time, but up. Ah, eggplant wizards! No! Kill! Kill them! Die! Die! Get, get out of here! <sighs> ah, got this weird cough again today, but that seems to be par for the course around here. But no, it feels, like I said, feels weird being by myself, though, especially after all this time, where we're up to what? This is, what, episode 113, and I've never been, I mean, I've been on my own for bits and pieces of, I think, only two episodes. I think last week's, and really, and now who's calling? <laughs> now, remember to keep your phone silent for the duration of the film. No, what was I saying though? Oh yeah, I think I think I've only been by myself for, you know, bits and pieces of two episodes, including last week's and I believe I think it was Cuphead that was the only other one that I was by myself, but other than that, no. Have have had Eve by my side the entire time, so feels weird to me, but I did want to beat this game. This is a this is childhood frustration for me right here and <clears throat> it's funny, I looked at a map before doing this, and now I don't remember any of the map. <laughs> so that's pretty bad. Okay, that's still a dead end. You would think I would have known that, I would have remembered that from, you know, five seconds ago, but I guess not. See, and this is a lot different than, you know, any, any even Luca play episodes, or even just of my own thing, because those games I at least know we're going to beat, regardless of what they are. This one? Nah, I... I didn't even expect to get this far. Because <clears throat> the best I had done was that Cerberus boss back a few years ago, and that was about it. Thanks to a faulty glitch, I ended up beating him. I don't care. It it, it counts. <clears throat> it freaking counts. Whoops. Oh, what? The hell? Great. Now I have to go find that nurse. That was crap. It's like as soon as I dropped in, hi, hi, how you doing? My name's Chad. Oh yeah, and while reading up on this game though, Eve did discover, discover the purpose of the torch though, because apparently the torch and the torch map and pencil combined pretty much allow you to see where, you know, where on the map you are at all times. and. So I forget, yeah, that just shows it like that. So if I get the pencil, that'll allow me to draw out the path, and then the torch would show me would show me where I am at all times, which is fucking weird. Like, I do not get how this stuff works. And not only that, but not only th does the torch show you on the map, but then there's a cr there's like a credit card here too cuz i actually I, I like like i said i looked at an online map earlier and the way i was going last time before like we got really far in before getting turned into eggplants that you know damn it speaking of that i hate that I think that room is bullshit because it's, it's pretty much a crapshoot as if you're going to make it there safely or not. You know, the save states and all that fun stuff to, you know, prevent this kind of thing from happening, but no, we don't do that. The only thing that's keeping me from playing this game as about as authentically as possible is it's expensive. And I do not have the money to be a retro game collector. Don't get me wrong, I have a few, but... But, like, how many games do I have for retro stuff? Like, I think about 100? That's nothing to sneeze at. And about 80% of those, I got for free. So, yeah. Damn it! Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I hate eggplant wizard. Now I have to waste my time walking back to the one spot that that nurse happens to be in. Well, you're a sight, but not really one I can 
I need, what did he say? 210 for. Why not? I mean, I'm here, and this way I don't have to go back to the... This way I don't have to go back to the damn, you know, quicksand pit thing. I have no idea what... I have no idea what it's supposed to be or how it's supposed to help, but... Yeah, I'll take that. I was tempted to start over just because I could probably beat the first... I could probably get... Son of a bitch! So any of you, Eggplant Wizards are going to drive me crazy, but now, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Was that I was thinking of starting over because I could probably beat... I could probably beat the other stages pretty decently now, even with all the insane platforming to them. And on some of those, I could farm for hearts, too, since I discovered what... You know, what some of the other power-ups have done, and... By the way, this is... This has been one solid run. I have not, like, I died the first time, but then I've been on this run, and I've been, I swear to you, I've been an eggplant three times in this one run. No, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away. <sighs> At least I made it that time. <laughs> Fucking eggplant wizards. I still don't get what the point of, of these is. What is it for people like me who are still still unfamiliar with all this and think, hey, maybe something will happen. See, that's the thing. I'm clearly doing better to the point where I can survive, but surviving isn't the only thing I want to do. Beating this game is what I want to do. Ah, shit. Damn it. <sighs> Mother. That's four. Well, at least the good thing is I know now I don't have to go back down there. Where do I have to go? That's a really good question. I mean, I at least remember the way now. I know the way to a pit, to a healing pit, and I know the way to the nurse. Which is a good thing, because clearly I have needed her. Yeah, it's a case of how many times can I get transformed into an eggplant before I just finally snap. Right now, what are we up to? Four in just this one run? And on the path to the boss, there are the other eggplant wizards. See, realistically, I could farm on this room if I wanted to, but I don't. Shit, although I think I'm making progress! Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! I was making progress in life, until... Until eggplants. It's like last week I used the word obnoxious a million times. Now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna cuss like a fucking sailor. Cause this game is pissing me off. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. Just annoying as shit. Fucking eggplants. I was actually doing really good there too, until eggplants and Should I forgot? No, I forgot. Don't go down. Because they could fire their eggplant super high up. So even if I e even if I get spiked with an eggplant in this room, though, it's not going to be the end of the world. In fact, I probably expect... I, I expect it to happen. But no, I'm going to go this way. Because I know there's, there's, you know, healing sand over here. Yeah. Your arrows have, like, no range on them. But no, now I have that, so I have full health. Now the thing I need to do... ...is somehow pull a miracle and actually get through that room without getting spiked into an eggplant. Don't ask me how I did it. I have no clue. <laughs> Pure dumb luck. Now, we discovered what those bottles can do, though. The bottles can apparently revive you when you die. 
but they can only do they can only do one thing of health from what we've read correctly and you can have up to four and the the weird wine cask barrel things that you get to those can allow you to hold more which makes me think either your health bar will grow bigger or or you can just you know hold more to be able to revive more I would think okay so shit Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. How are you supposed to get by them? And now the biggest problem is... Yeah, I like how they made it damn near impo- Man, that's ridiculous. And the nurse is way the hell back there. May as well take that. No! It's like I got scared. I hate these guys. They're like right at the... Oh my god, yes! Okay, just go across. Just go across. Doing good, doing good, don't fuck this up now. May as well kill all these guys I can for hearts, why not? Okay, so what do I do? Do I buy your... Why not? Thank you. Wait, do you give me anything else useful? You give me... Hmm. But the problem is... I can't get back up to that platform, and I'm not going back! Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Like, it's not a problem except for the fucking bubbles everywhere. Fucking bubbles! That you can't even hurt. These things have, like, no real bouncing pattern either. Because, yeah, a minute ago that one was going horizontal, now it's going vertical. <sighs> this is gonna be a problem. Ah, uh, whoa, and those do some decent damage. Basically, it's another kind of boss fight where I just have to be patient with it, because it's always going to take 100 hits to defeat a boss, it seems like. And I've done 30, so... Oh shit, he can- wow, and he can do some decent damage. Okay, do not fuck this up now, Luke. I went- you'd never know when you'll get another good shot. Oh shit! Oh, that was cheap! See, it changed direction in mid-jump. It's like I don't want to go to the platforms either, because then I lose a... Yeah, it's like I like how he can go through them. Oof! Oh my god. Good to know I can at least duck those. Shit. No! Oh boy. No. This is bad. 
Maybe I should have been crazy and grinded for a... F Almost to 40. Come on, you whore. And he has no real pattern either. He kind of just flails about aimlessly. Can turn on a dime too, which which sucks. It's like this is those times when one of those upgrades we read about would help, because there's upgrades apparently to increase you know your weapon range and damage, and I guess you get those from the training rooms. Those would help, like a lot. Oh, get, no! Get away! And it scares me when he goes completely dark, because it's... Unless he's on one of the pillars or something, it's him. Yeah, see, look at that. He blends in perfectly. <sighs> Come on, got him down to under 100. Kind of reminds me of that weird face thing in Yoshi or in a Kirby Superstar for whatever reason. No idea why, but that's just what I came up with. God, I am nervous as all hell. See, especially when, like I said, when you can do that. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, come on, he changed right at the lap. Fuck. I thought it was gonna be a- I thought it was gonna be a great story, but nope, nope. Ah, oh, I got fucked over. Damn it. Okay, I ran- I ran that as perfectly as I could. Taking minimal damage, no eggplant things, no sidestepping, just getting where I needed to be, which I cannot believe I pulled it off that fluidly. And are you going to give me... Are you going to give me the big potion? No, you're not going to do that, are you? Shit. I mean, I guess if you're not going to do that, which I probably should have checked before... Oh, I'll just take this. I'm at full health. That's something. <laughs> there we go. Got a few nice shots off, though. No idea how I dodged that. And to think he's not even the final boss, watch, he'll be the toughest one. And all because of those stupid orbs, too. See, he wouldn't be... He'd be nothing if not for those. Because it's like you have to worry about dodging them as well as dodging him. At least with the dragon, you only had to... Or the Hydra, excuse me, you only had to dodge him. I mean, just the fact that I was able to get back here and do this good in one try is not bad. And I mean, I'm making progress. I almost, got, I almost got him down. I've done twenty. I've done like twenty. Like, let's see if I've done 110 damage. That's how many hits. Why? Well, okay, well I've done 60 hit, or yeah, 60 hits out of 100 now. Oh, come on. Damn it. 
Don't be greedy. Even though, even though I'm getting off a nice string of- Whoa, whoa! Even though I'm getting off a nice chain- chain of shots, it's like, don't be cocky. Only 20 more hits. Come on. Like, don't be greedy. Only I only need 18 more. Okay, that was that was a pretty good run. Damn it. Now getting reckless, getting reckless. Calm down. Calm down, man. You got this. No. Nope. Six more. Come on, just six more hits. Although he's not going to make these six hits easy. Okay, four more. Come on. Oh, you ass. He's staying. <sighs> no. Yes. <sighs> oh my god. My hands are sweating so bad. And to think it still carries my score, although I guess if I get to 150, maybe I'll get a health in. Ooh. Pit equipped himself with the three treasures. Oh, this is fucking gr Although, oh my god, this feels so weird. Although it is nice to have a better weapon, finally, and I can turn around, that's pretty cool. This feels so fucking weird. Because, see, look at that, he just kind of hover. It's like you have to force the moves, too. Ah, no! I know I'm getting near the end of the game, and this is definitely uncharted territory for me. Hell, everything past the first world was uncharted. What the... What the? Okay, note to self, don't shoot him. Oh shit, but he can shoot me. No! The biggest problem is, like I said, you have to force every little thing. Oh, I can, oh, I can fly through all this? Then what's the point? God, I'm thinking it's like Silver Surfer where I'm going to just hit everything and then, well, not not die because this is actually a good game. Yeah, see, it's funny. At first, I thought it was this drifting thing that they were talking about, but I think he just naturally, you know, is really hard to control here. Wow, and this is a long level. I'm not kidding you, it's still going. A side-scrolling shooting level is going, although it is nice that we were able to... So basically this game had a lot, has a lot of different elements going for it. The vertical scrolling, the side-scrolling, the labyrinths, and now this. So that's some, that's a lot of variety crammed into your game in 1986. Wait. But I have no health! Is that the Medusa? Shit, but I don't know how much damage I'm doing! Wait, can... Okay, my shield can... What is the point of the shield, then? It seems useless. And wait. Okay, well, at least they have the decency to start me off at full health, because... But wow, so is this the... This is the final stage? Stage 4-1, I mean... I remember reading as a kid there was only four worlds to this game, so... Maybe? 
I wonder when I... Ah, shit, plants! Shit, and I think they go up as high as me, too. Like I said, the biggest problem is trying to control this thing. And the other big problem is it's a huge gauntlet of enemies, so by the time you get to the Medusa, you're pretty beat up. And I have... Oh, so it's, yeah, it's the mirror, the, the, mirror, the arrows, and the uh, thing, but... The mirror doesn't really help. I would think it would stop the Medusa's gaze attacks, but... No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't even defend me against enemies. This is like the lousiest shield ever. Even Link's shield can defend him against little projectiles. What the... The fuck? Oh, bullshit! Basically, it's the kind of fight I'm just going to have to be patient with. I'm going to have to be extremely... Fuck! I'm also going to need to find some way to be... Okay, so I have to remember certain swaths of the level to go forward and back. Because there's no... Okay, and I think it was the... Really... Yeah, and I think it was this early portion of the level 2 that I needed to stay forward, and then... But I don't want to stay too far forward. Yeah, because then that weird stuff starts happening. Now, why does it keep making me... Why does it keep making me go up that high? That's so weird. And I may as well... You know, if, if I don't need to be forward, I may as well stay back. I don't know why I keep thinking I have to go forward when I don't. Because that just makes me a prime target for these things. Getting hearts at this point really isn't going to help. Whoop. Whoop. Do some, do some fancy dodging there. I'm still collecting hearts like they mean something. They don't. Not on this level. But they figured at this point, hey, you have everything, you may as well just, you know, why drag it on any further? We, we'll have you fight the Medusa now. Which is interesting that Medusa is the main villain of this franchise. Like, where, where, where do you really hear that? Like, that's pretty cool, actually. Just gotta be patient. Ooh, nice. Fuck! Why do I feel like that might have been the end, too? <sighs> the 
This level is so fucking hard. I mean, understandably so. The game is the game is notoriously difficult, and if this is the final level, understandably so, and I'm actually I'm actually okay with the uh, unforgiving difficulty because why that the game's been that way up to this point. It'd be a shame if the final level was, you know, was super easy. But this will I'm going to I'm going to end this 27 year journey here and beat this game god damn it. And it felt like though the shield was actually kind of helping there. I think when I when I fire the bow, I put the shield away, but then when I'm you know, when I have it out, I don't know if that's meant to help me against her blasts or not. I mean, it is a mirror shield, so you would think something like that would be... Nope. Why are you making me go up? Why? Yeah, why is this making me go up? That is so still so fucking weird. Or though, although I wonder if it's just... I'd have to go back and play this on an at least an emulator or see if I can find the actual cart and see if this kind of control thing is... I mean, if it's a problem for the original game, then understandable, but if it's a thing that just came along, like if it's just the Switch giving me this issue, then that's a problem. Damn it. Okay, I can... Well, It'd be funny if a shop had been up there the whole time. Why even give me the ability to collect this many hearts if there there's no shop, there's nothing. Nothing but my own, nothing but my own purgatory, which is funny considering the boss of the second game is the devil himself. So I'm literally in my own hell. God damn it! And I don't like him being down there. Oh shit! Oh, hell yeah! I think I found a sweet spot! No idea how, but I'll take it. Die! Those snakes get to me. Yes! Yes! Is she dead? Yes! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Thank you, Pit. Oh my god. And that's gonna give me a seat. <laughs> yeah, you give me like a janitor's hat and like a mop now. Thanks. Thanks for the reward. <sighs> Is that it? Yeah, that's apparently your end. Oh, Medusa was destroyed and the light of peace returned to Angel Land, but in order to maintain peace, Pitt's struggle continues. Yes! Oh my god, took me 27 fucking years to beat this game. I know, that's a long time, but... Wow, I'll have to let Eve know, because that's, that's amazing, another challenge down. I didn't think, man, I didn't think there was only one more stage after that. Had I known, I, we probably could have, you know, pat soldiered through and gotten this done last week, but hey, she had to, she had to go, so. But no, this was, <laughs> it's like, I have thoughts. This is, 
And I may as well, why not? This was an incredible game, an incredibly difficult one at that, but... Like I said, still fun, still enjoyable, I have more knowledge about it than ever, and... I love the variety for a game that came out in 86, so... It's been it's been a fun couple of weeks doing this, and hey, what a, what a way to end the hero, you. And hey, what a way to uh, jump into the third season. I did not know I did not know that was going to happen. Much less, you know, you know, I didn't expect the timing on that. But hey, hey, I finally beat another demon from my childhood, and hey, tomorrow we kick off the third season of our programming. So see you then. <laughs>